Hi, Jenny here. Beautiful day. Can you hear the birds? The apple blossoms have just come out here on this tree and it's just, it's just lovely actually. It's quite cold but lovely. Today I want to talk about photosynthesis. It's, uh, it's that thing we all learned about at school a hundred years ago and it didn't seem so important. Well, the thing is, it's actually probably one of the most important things there is to, to understand and we really need to talk to our kids about it. This is, part the, this, is, this is what makes the carbon cycle work and the carbon cycle is where we will find the solutions to climate change. So I'm going to talk more about that later. So photosynthesis, what is it? It's the machinery that you have in every tree and every plant to make energy for the plant and it's completely free. It's totally genius. And this is the reason why we need more trees because it's doing so many good things for the, for the soil and for the air. So photosynthesis, it's like all this carbon dioxide and oxygen and stuff, right? Okay, let's keep it really basic. What happens is you have your tree and underneath the tree is all of these roots. The tree is taking in things from the air and also from the soil and it is transforming those using the energy from the sun to produce outputs. So we have inputs, we have outputs, and the energy for the process is the sun. It's a solar powered operation. So the two inputs, what are they? One is carbon dioxide coming from the air. We all know about that, way too much of it. The code is CO2. Uh, the other input is water, and that's coming up through the roots um, largely and the code for that is H2O. So you have two things coming in, H2O and CO2. And it goes into this big sugar factory in the tree. And the reason the tree needs sugar is that it is food for the tree so it can grow itself. And it is also food for all the, let's say the soil farmers, which are providing the tree with everything it needs, the nutrients and so on. And these are the microbes and the worms and the, you know, everything in the soil. They all have to be fed and the food they need is sugar. So the tree is basically a sugar machine, right? Now, sugar is carbohydrates. Uh, I'm keeping this really simple. And carbohydrates have a code and it's a really long one and really hard to remember. It's C6H12O6. Mm? So it's a lot of C's and H's and O's. So the outputs from the sugar machine is two things. It's sugar, carbohydrates, and it's oxygen. And this is the bit we kind of know anyway, this is probably the only bit we remember, is that the carbon dioxide comes in, the tree breathes in carbon dioxide, and it breathes out oxygen. <clears throat> How does it do that? If we look at all these little C's and H's and O's and divide them up, this is what happens in the sugar factory in the tree. So let's say the inputs coming into the tree duh, 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 is a pile of, uh, let's say we have six little packages of CO2, carbon dioxide, and we have six little packages of water coming into the tree. Right, then you have a bunch of six C's and 12 O's and um, six H's, right? Uh, and then the tree is doing its thing with the sugar factory with that and out of it will come one package of uh, sugar, a sugar package, carbohydrate package and six little oxygen packages that are just like leftovers from the process and the sugar package is C6H12O6 and so that is using most of that stuff that came in and the leftover oxygen is just pumped out into the air. It's a spare thing for the tree and it's good for us and so you get Six packages of carbon dioxide, six packages of water coming in, you get one package of sugar and six little mini packages of oxygen coming out. And that's carbon dioxide, uh, sorry, that's uh, photosynthesis. So I'll talk more in the next video about what happens then with the sugar. Why? Why do we need all this and what is happening with it? But that's the sugar factory, right? And you've got uh, all those things coming in and all those things coming out every single day. And this is why we need more trees.